everybody. Welcome to this episode of Rush Roots. Today we have Omar. So Omar, why don't you tell us who you are and where you're from? Yeah, I'm Omar Alvarado. I grew up in Massachusetts, right on the New Hampshire border, a little town called Haverhill. Um, I currently reside uh, in the western suburbs of Atlanta, uh, close to the Alabama border. So uh, I'm a Georgian right now. <laughs> That's a big difference, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been all over the place, but I ended up here. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I hear you. All right. Well, um, why don't you tell us how you got into Rush? What uh, what kind of attracted you to them and what keeps you around? Tell us about your Rush roots. Yeah. So I'm a child of the 70s. So you can kind of guess my age, more or less. Um, <laughs> and at that time, my... <laughs> My favorite band was Kiss, and coincidentally, my family we were four boys, so each one of us was a member of the band. Of um, even though I, <laughs> yeah, I was not, the, I was not the drummer, but the drums were my favorite instrument. Um, and I thought Peter Chris was the best drummer ever of all time. This is me as a kid. Uh, so I think when I was like eleven or twelve years old, uh, my older brother's friend, he asked me, "What, you know, what music do you like? Uh, who do you like?" And I said, "Kiss. Kiss is my favorite." And he kind of chuckled a little bit. He said, listen to this. And he gives me a cassette of moving pictures. And I, this was in uh, 82, I think it was, when he gave this to me. So uh, I had a cassette player, a boom box, at the, what they were mm -hmm. called at the time. So yep. I put it in and I pressed play. And the moment I heard the first note of Tom Sawyer, I literally did not listen to Kiss for like 20 years. Like it was immediately, <laughs> this is true. Immediately kiss was gone. Like I had never heard anything like that. And then when I heard Tom Sawyer and then red Barchetta and all these songs are really different from each other. And they had such personality and the playing was phenomenal. And of course I noticed the drumming a lot. It's like, wow. I mean, I was very impressed at that young age by the musicianship. So, you know, I went back to Kiss later, just for nostalgia's sake, but never to compare them uh, musically. And only later I found out that they were actually, their stories are intertwined, um, which I thought was uh, kind of a, a, you know, a loose end that was tied, full circle, tied up later. Yeah. <laughs> full circle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, that's how I found out about uh, Rush. And what keeps me around with them is that they just never went away. <laughs> they just kept record after record after yeah. record. And there are always rumors. I mean, there were rumors that they wanted to do other things. Neil wanted to write books. It didn't occur to me that he could write books and play music. Uh, right, but um, right. they just they just kept ma making music. So they've always been my number one band of all time. It's awesome. Cool. I mean, Gene Simmons did say in uh, uh, Beyond the Lightest Stage, he says, what kind of a band is Rush? Well, it's Rush. Gosh. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's, you know, people like kind of want to put them, uh, categorize them as a progressive metal band. And I yeah. think maybe that's what most applies to them. But they're really their own, their own type of music. They're like their own genre. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're, they yeah. are their own genre. They yeah, are. pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are. All right. Well, why don't you tell us uh, when, where, and what tour your first Rush show was? Yeah. So my first show was on December 2nd, 1987. It was the Hold Your Fire tour at the Worcester Centrum in Worcester, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, I think Michael Schenker band was their opening act, if I remember correctly. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think they were the opening act. And, um, you know, obviously I was incredibly impressed. Um, it was my band, it was Rush, and I was seeing them. Even though I was sitting really far away, um, and Neil Peart's drum solo was incredible. And I don't think at, on every show of that tour, on that show in particular, he finished his solo uh, going into Red Lenses, uh, which I thought was, uh, was, was pretty cool. I was not expecting that at all. So, yeah, yeah that was my first show. And um, oh. an interesting note about that show is just a week later, lit, uh, exactly a week later, I saw Yes for the first time, their big oh. generator tour. Oh, so yeah, it was like cool. the, the best two weeks of music of my life. <laughs> that's that's so awesome. And, yes. Yeah. My, my brother was able. He had a friend who liked Yes. And I, I had a friend who loved Yes, but I never got into it. And then for free, I got tickets to see it the next the next week. And 
they're my second favorite. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Yes, yep. it's absolutely fantastic. That's yeah. awesome, man. Cool. You got to see two excellent shows back to back. Yeah, Very unforgettable. Nice. Yeah. Very I nice. had no All idea right. they played they played Red Lenses on the Hold Your Fire tour. Yeah, so not the whole song. So when they went, and I don't think they did it in oh, every show. Okay. But when okay. Neil finished the drum solo, the the beat to Red Lenses, he he would kick I into see. that. Okay. Then the band uh, finished finished the song. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got it. All right. All right. Well, why don't you tell us what your first favorite Rush song and album was, and how is that different from your favorite song and album today, if it is different? Yeah. So. As you may have guessed from my story, I, initially my favorite song was Tom Sawyer, uh, and my favorite album was Moving Pictures. And you know, really tied together with that was the Exit Stage Left concert. Oh, yeah, um, that's awesome! One. It's just a great time for a Rush fan to have got to know Rush, which yeah. many have. But that's yeah. kind of like the era that many Rush fans identify with. Yep. Um, so at that time, you know, that was my favorite album, and now that you know, Rush is going down their career and everything's done. Um, actually, I think if I were to pick a favorite song now, I'll say the song first, it would have to be the Xanadu from Exit Stage Left, the live oh, version. Sweet. Mm, yeah. That yes, arguably yes. is my favorite Rush song as a, as a whole, as far yeah. as performance and the multitasking. And I mean, anybody who reviews that reacts to it on YouTube, they love it because uh, it's such a great performance. So that might be my favorite song arguably now um and as far as the record uh to me i kind of always go back to signals mm, as being my nice. like arguably my favorite it, like clockwork angels is really close up there um mm -hmm. but signals to oh, me okay. um uh, harkens to a time of it's, it's nostalgic for me it's, like, it's the first record i bought with my own money mm -hmm. um firstly um also you know the band was so young and adventurous then um i think they had just gotten used to what limelight was all about they wrote about limelight and yeah. then now they're they kind of like they acted like they knew how to deal with it even at that young age and mm -hmm. you know the analog kid really kind of like brings out uh, what i feel about the band that i wish they always could be but obviously time goes by and, you know you get older things happen yeah. um but you know when i think about it i think signals to me is the one that comes back the sound too is very similar to exit stage left. It kind of has that ec ec chambery echoey type sound as if they're playing in a hall. Um, it sounds very similar to exit stage left to me. So yeah. Um, yeah, I would say as of now, anyway, signals would be uh, my, you know, that changes. <laughs> the yeah, signals yeah, would be yeah. my, my favorite, out, my favorite out. That's awesome. That's all. Those are fantastic picks, man. Xanadu and yeah. signals. Love it. It, yeah. uh, it changes, but I, I feel like it, 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 you know, the more that things change, the more they stay the same. Right. So like, so true. It, it personal favorites change, but we always find ourselves going back to a few of this, of the same favorites type of deal. You know, we go yeah, through phases sure. as Rush fans. So. All right. Well, uh, where can people find you online? Where can people find you on, on, uh, social media? Yeah. So I was, you know, I have, everybody has emails and stuff like that. They don't like publishing those things. So, uh, if you wanted to, talk about rush uh with me or any other subject if you find me interesting enough <laughs> um if on instagram i'm uh, at the paradiddler um it's it's a play on the paradiddler because i play the drums <laughs> and um i actually have a blog called the paradiddler.com i've written a bunch of articles about drumming and you know, my drum covers and stuff like that so that's my tag on instagram uh and on twitter you can find me at uh, at about underscore rush um, that's my Twitter account there. And also I have a, a YouTube channel as well called all about rush. Um, you know, I'm just one guy amongst millions of rush fans, just like you guys. And I think rush deserves to be spoken about for a long time. Cause you know, as, as we say that every time we hear a rush song, no matter how many times we hear it, we kind of hear something different that we didn't hear before. Mm -hmm. Same thing about talking about them. You know, there's always something to talk about yeah. relating to the band that, you know, wasn't emphasized before or you thought, oh, I didn't I didn't think about that. It's just they're so complex. So I thought, yeah. let me throw in my voice. Uh, so I created the All About Rush channel, which, you know, I say all about Rush, but I don't know all about Rush. But 
there's plenty of content there to <laughs> to bring out <laughs> and share with everybody. Old old fans and new fans coming in. They're still coming in. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me tell Excellent. you, I wouldn't have bothered to reach out to you if I didn't think your channel rocked. So um, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your channel is is fantastic, and uh, we hope to see you, uh, you know, on some of our rush roundtables in the future. Because uh, yeah, man, you know that would be awesome. I would be, I would be, uh, that would be great. Look, yeah. look forward yeah. to that. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Omar, hey, thanks for joining us today. If anyone uh, watching wants to, you know, do their own rush roots and share their their rush story, then feel free to. Uh, the best place to get in touch with us is at Rush Fans on Instagram. Uh, and with that, we will wrap. Take care, everybody. Take care.